Okay, so this is our um, demonstration unit we use at the car shows. You, if you bought anything from us, you may have seen this before on our stand. And I'll be using this to demonstrate how we program the gauge wizard. Uh, it's a lot easier than me trying to photograph myself or video myself hanging out the bottom of a car. Um, nothing complicated about it. There's a the wizard. Standard wizard programmed with version 4.4, plugged into his connector. Uh, the connector is connected to power through this cable. Um, and to these variable resistors that simulate senders and uh, these gauges. Now I can use these switches to select a particular sender, their different values, and I can use this switch to select a particular gauge. I'm only using this gauge at the moment. Um, um, this switch at the bottom disconnects the wizard, turns the power off so that we can power it and then power it on again. In that position it turns it on you notice it flashed twice here, that's the little LED, I'll do that again. It didn't flash twice at all, it flashed once, because version 4.4 only flashes once when you turn it on, that's how we can tell which version of the firmware it is. And then in this position, it bypasses the wizard altogether and connects the sender directly to the gauge. So let's go ahead and do the first simple calibration. What I'm going to do, I'm going to load the preset values for an MGA. Now the MGA is listed as one of the presets in the wizard, um, it's listed in the instructions down here. MGA is number one in bank one. So what we'll do, we'll go about selecting that. And in the instructions, um, it tells us that to select bank one, we need to hold down button B for four flashes. So let's do that first. So button B is going to be this one. I mean, holding down for four flashes. One, two, three, four. And it will flash back, one, two, three, four. So now we've selected bank one of the presets. Now the preset we want is number one, and to select that one, what we do is we press down button D and hold it down for one flash. So button D is this one over here. Hold it down, one flash, and it flashes one back. There's a long flash then to tell us that it's finished and we're back in the main menu. What I'll do, I'll put the wizard in circuit now. Uh, oh, we're on the sender, we're going to be on the top sender. Now the MGA um, has a resistance of 0 to 68 ohms. 0 ohms empty, the 68 ohms full. So 0 ohms empty, this is a 100 ohm gauge, so it's going to make full about here somewhere. So empty and full. Now you'll notice that the gauge is still going the wrong way. That's because whenever we program anything into the wizard, we need to program the gauge as well. So the next little video will be how to program the gauge.